Hello and welcome back to the another video of PrestaShop. In the previous video I have shown you how to download and install PrestaShop on localhost, that is on ZAMP and WAMP. Those who don't know how to install PrestaShop on localhost can refer to the previous video before starting with this tutorial. And those who are new here press the red color subscribe button for more new videos of web development. So, in this video I'll be explaining you, what is dashboard? How does it looks like? And what does it contains? So keep patience and watch this video till end. Dashboard Dashboards often provide at a glance views of KPIs, that is key performance indicators, relevant to a particular objective or business process, example, sales, marketing, human resources, or production. In real-world terms, Dashboard is another name for progress report or report. After you log in to PrestaShop admin account, the first page which opens by default is called the dashboard of your shop. It shows you the activity overview column on the left side of the page, which contains number of online visitors, number of active shopping carts, orders pending currently, notifications, customers and newsletters and traffic coming from various sources. The middle portion of the dashboard page shows you the graph of your shop revenue generated versus the number of days. Followed by the forecast and orders summary. After dashboard, there comes the catalog section. This section gives you the information about all the items that you are selling on your website. This catalog section is further divided into various sub-menus to offer better management of the shop. The sub-menus are Product, Categories, Moan tiring, product attributes, product features, manufacturers, suppliers, tags and attachments. After catalog, there is another section as orders. This section allows admin to process the orders of their customers and generate the invoices. After catalog, there comes next option as customers. Here, the admin can view the list of people who have signed up as a customer on their shop and can also keep records of their customer information. The information consists of the name of the person, address, contact details, and the shopping history. Now comes the price rule section. Here, the admin can decide the minimum amount of order required for the person to be eligible for free shipping, also can set the cart rules catalog price rule, and can do the marketing. Next section is the modules and services section. In this section the admin can change the theme of the shop, add, change, or delete the features from his or her shop, also can set the positions of various modules in the shop and can change, add, or delete the payment options for the customers. The next section is the shipping and localization section. In the shipping section the admin can set multiple courier delivers and can set the preferences of them. Whereas in localization section, you can set languages for your shop, the zones where you will ship the products, countries, states, currencies, taxes, tax rules, and translations. The Preferences section. Here, you can set the options for your shop like the standard checkout or one-page checkout. Enable or disable guest checkout, gift wrapping and its price. You can also set which fields are mandatory and which are not. Change your shop's logo, icons, mail, and invoices logo. SEOs and URL of the shop. Images and thumbnails of shop. The contact details for your shop. Maintenance and geolocation. The next section is the advanced parameters. Here you can see the configuration information of your store, performance of shop, emails, import databases, manage SQL, logs and web services. The second last section is the administration section. Here you can do changes for your store like upload quota, set the profile for your employees, profiles of manufacturers, logistic ians, salesmen etc. Modify permissions, menus, and merchant expertise. The last section is the static ticks or stats section. Here you can track the stats of your shop, the search engines and the referrers. Here this tutorial ends and I hope you have enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe for more updates.